Hey, 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 all right, we're back with a live Q and A. Sorry, that took a long time. Uh, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> all right, so end of our series, follow leader. Hey, um, I'm Chris. By the way, this is Zach. Glad to see you. Um, so questions came in. Uh, hey. How does a leader, or, or let's talk? I'm trying to figure out how to frame this question. Yeah. What are some practical ways that leaders can listen to the voice of God when they're se- seeking discernment, and seeking like mm. they're trying to be a good follower, yeah. right? Yep. while being a good leader. So what are some practical ways that you would uh, advise a leader to, to follow the voice of God? To follow the voice of God. I'm still trying to figure that out, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, for me, I'll just speak speak from my, my perspective. Sometimes when I'm trying to gain insight um, about something, obviously it starts with prayer, private time with God, because um, I believe he does speak in that way. But when it's when I'm not getting anything from there, sometimes I will go to people who are a little further down the road than I am because I believe that God uses uh, people who are wiser and more seasoned in, in ministry and life than we are uh, to do that. But I think you hit the nail on the head is ultimately it's about trying to become the best follower mm-hmm. that you can. And part of that involves the principles of, of reading and, and prayer and, and it's kind of those spiritual discipline type, type things. And I think once we begin to do those things, uh, we'll begin to discern a little more of where God's leading us and I'm not saying we'll ever hear like an audible voice or anything like that, but I think in our spirits we begin to get a sense of what he's calling us to do and who he's calling us to become. But that only happens when when we are paying attention to our own lives. Yeah, Uh, and I was going to say exactly what you just said. Most often there's not like a a straight-up answer or even like a street sign or whatever to tell you. That's what we all want. I wish it was that way. Yeah, sure, you'd love that. (laughs) But a lot of times it's a lot more subtle than that, and a lot of times it requires faith. A lot of times it's... I feel like this is what I'm supposed to do, and, and whatever. And I talk about this a lot of times with, with friends and with even my own family. Of your job isn't to know <clears throat> whether it's a leadership decision or whether it's something you're struggling with or whatever. Right. Your job is not to know the next 15 steps. Your job is not to have a plan for the next 15 years. Your job. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Your job is to uh, take just the next right step. Right. That's it. You don't need to Absolutely. know. The 15 That's point good. plan that you need to do. You just need what, with everything that I understand, everything that I know right now, let's say it's about a business. Let's say yeah. you own a business, you're a leader in a business, and you need to make a decision about whatever it might be, a, right. a next step. Just take all the information you can, like you were talking about with wise counsel and people like that, and, and seek in reading the Bible and, and, mm-hmm. and asking God to speak into that. And even if you don't get a crystal clear answer, all you need to do is take all that stuff in and then make a decision and take a step. You know, same thing for, yeah. maybe it's just for your family. Maybe it's a decision you guys are trying to make about, do we want to have another kid? Do we yeah. want to, uh, how, what are we going to do about the situation with our, with our child? And again, you don't have to be an expert. You don't need, to, I don't think we're called to do that as leaders. Right. We just need to be followers and yeah. just take the, the next right yeah. step. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. That's it. Cool, Nailed man. It. Great series. Thanks to you guys for listening. And uh, we'll see you next week with Storytellers. Storytellers. Part one. See ya.